Coming to you from lovely downtown Santa Rosa, it's the Backstage Sonoma Radio Show. And now, here's your host, Steve Roby. Americana singer-songwriter Noah Guthrie's unique soulful voice and unmistakable Southern influence in his music make him capable of conveying emotion as only a handful of artists can in today's musical landscape. Noah has performed across the states and Europe, opening for the likes of Ed Sheeran and several times for Willie Nelson. He'll be swinging by Sonoma County on August 1st, where you can catch him in concert at Blue Note Napa. Noah Guthrie joins me to talk about his recent single, Carry It, and more shortly. But first, here's a preview of Noah performing Nightbird. It's a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Great. Can you tell our listeners what inspired you to become a musician and who were some of your mentors? Yeah, so I um I started, you know, picking up a guitar when I was, you know, 14 or 15 and uh was really looking for just a, a new way to express myself. Music had always kind of been in my life a little bit uh here and there. My my dad was a singer and, mm. and my stepmom was a singer and I was kind of in and out of the studio with them growing up just around uh, here locally in South Carolina. And mm. I started picking up a guitar when I was about 14, started writing music and um, just kind of fell in love with that way of expressing myself. And um, I think that originally it wasn't a, wasn't really a, a choice to, to make it, you know, something that I pursued as a living until it just kind of started happening. Mm. I, I started posting some stuff online and, and they it would get some traction and one thing led to another and it, it became my job and, and my life. And I'm very thankful that I, I get to do this for, for a living. I'm so glad you made that choice too. Me too. Yeah. Did do you have any mentors? Was there a music teacher or somebody that uh, inspired it all? I had various music teachers. I had, I was never really like, um, I guess professionally trained other than schooling. You know, I was in the honor choir and stuff at school and, and did a little bit of like classical and, and music or theater, musical theater training in, in high school as well. But you know, nothing beyond that really. Um, but honestly, my, I've, I've listened to my dad sing, you know, since I was a kid mm. and he's got this really big, powerful voice. <laughs> and in so many ways, we're very much alike. <laughs> and he kind of passed that on to me. And I think I've made it my own over the years and kind of figured out how we're different and stuff. I would definitely say he had a, a big role to play in it. All right. Shout out to your dad. Yeah. <laughs> in addition to your concerts and your recordings, you've also appeared on the Fox TV show Glee and Dancing with the Stars. What was it like working on those TV shows? I was amazing. It was kind of out of the blue with glee I, I was not looking to do any acting or anything like that I, I that was not really my my purview at the time um i was just traveling and playing shows and doing music to try and make the long story a little bit shorter mm -hmm. um somebody came to my one of my shows and enjoyed the show and then the next day he had some interaction with a casting director that was working on glee 
And um, they basically said, hey, we're really having trouble finding somebody to fit this role. Um, you know, we need somebody with a, a powerful voice and who can kind of play a, a shy, chubby kid. And I was like, wow, that's here I am. <laughs> uh, one thing led to another. They passed my info along. I, I ended up auditioning and, and got the part. And, and yeah, it was amazing. For me, I, I never went to college or anything. So it was kind of my like first real experience away from home. I moved out to Hollywood. I, I did the the whole thing for about a year. And uh, yeah, it, it was an amazing experience. I learned a lot, learned how TV works. Mm -hmm. And I got to sing some really great songs. When opportunity knocks, you've got to answer that door. Yeah, for sure. And I, I think it was one of those things that like at, at one point I was like, I don't know if this is for me, you know? And, and then I kind of reminded myself that like, okay, well, first of all, there are millions of people that would, you know, chew their arm off to have this opportunity <laughs> laid at their feet and you should at least go and, and, and check that out. So I'm really glad I did. And, and, uh, I still have fans from Glee that, that are at my shows and are very loyal to this day. So I'm, I'm super happy about it. Any desire to go back to TV at all? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's, I've done a few different things, uh, here and there. I was on America's Got Talent and, and stuff like that. And, and it was, it was great, but it, it's just, it's not quite the same uh, to me. I just, I love focusing on the music. Yeah. I want to play some of your music next and have you share the backstory on two of your songs. Let's start out with Blue Wall, the title track from your most recent album. What can you tell us about this one? Blue Wall is, is one of my favorites uh, that I've written in the last few years. Uh, it's a song that is kind of meant to be a, a kind of love letter to my, my home. I've grown up here in uh, upstate South Carolina in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, and Blue Wall is another name for the Blue Ridge Mountains mm. that, I've, that I've grown up adoring my entire life, and uh, I just wanted to write something about this place that I, I love so much. All right. It's a beautiful song. Let's listen to it now here on Cal's FM. This is Noah Guthrie doing Blue Wall. Looking at the Blue Ridge Line And the ancient hills of the Iroquois Long ago in a valley where the mountains stood tall They made their home in the shadow of a blue wall Where time rolled on with earth and sky The train brought work and a highway brought life in a tiny mill town looking up at it all Handful of proud people at the bottom of a blue wall You see Tyler, he's looking for a time to steal To head down River Falls Road with a ride and reel West deep in the river heard a bluebird call Ain't nothing as sweet as the water at the blue wall CJ works hard, never gets too far Spend five weeks pay on his pony car and Come Saturday night when that green light falls You're gonna hear the bees scream in every county of the blue Shop with head full of songs. Gonna follow my heart and make it over that blue wall. These days I 
I'm looking for time to steal Leave the road behind and the bright lights at my heels When my body's worn out, ghost is gone Won't you carry my bones to the bottom of the blue when my body's worn out, my ghost is gone. Won't you lay me down easy at the bottom of the blue wall? If you're just joining us, I'm speaking with a multi-talented musician, Noah Guthrie. Noah, let's play your most recent single. It's called Carry It Well. What can you tell us about this particular song? Yeah, I wrote this song with my friend Molly Brown, and this song ended up kind of being about, you know, embracing your journey in life and all its struggles so you know embrace the victories embrace the failures and, and learn from them and just kind of carry it in your stride and uh, it became a really uplifting song to me uh, at the time i was going through some stuff and this helped me mm. help me get through it mm. music is so cathartic it really has a healing aspect to it 100 yeah. percent. yeah well let's listen to it now here's noah guthrie doing carry it well on cows fm I can still hear the whine of that old refrigerator Your broken expression is cracked as the black and white tiles underneath the shaking in your knees, falling in your hand, just desperate to breathe. Trespassing memory in both of our brains. Seven months in, and it still hurts. We're learning to honor the pain and give ourselves grace. Hold on to each other like hell. You carry it well. I'm so proud of how far we've come We're healing ourselves And it gets better with each rising sun Honey, we're gonna make it We're something worth saving Honey, we're gonna make it Out our kitchen window Your hands in the grass With wide open eyes Looking up the trees Wondering what it all means Where well, I stand inside It's a sorrowful scene But today it looks different There's hope on the breeze Got a hint of a smile And it's just so serene Subtle but beautiful Might be the miracle we Something worth saving 
Honey, we gonna make it Singer-songwriter Noah Guthrie is our guest today. As I mentioned in the intro, you're no stranger to touring. You were on a month-long European tour earlier this year for the first time in several years, and you've opened for the great Willie Nelson in the past. Is there one particular show that stands out for you? Man, that's a really great question. I mean, obviously, any of the Willie Nelson shows Mm -hmm. are are amazing. He's been a hero of mine since I was a kid, and... uh, to get that call was was absolutely incredible. But I think, honestly, this previous tour I just did in Europe was so much fun. I don't know. I feel like I started that tour in a little bit of a musical kind of rut. And by the end of it, that tour really brought me out of it. I don't really know exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. I had a ton of great shows, but that, that whole thing was just, it was just a, a really incredible time. I had great people with me and mm-hmm. uh, just a wonderful wonderful fan base that shows up to the shows. And honestly, there are so many awesome uh, shows over there, but I think one that that stands out to me, um, I've done this place two times now, and it's uh, St. Pancras Church. They, they have mm. an old, old church that's, I mean, thousands of years old, and they do concerts inside of it now, and, and it's just always such a magical, magical thing. It's in London, um, and yeah, it was... The last time was just just a beautiful evening. Wow. How were the acoustics there? Oh, like <laughs> unbelievable. Um I and, and I think I played I think I played three different uh churches on that. Because over, over there they use the space for a lot more than religious activities and stuff. Sure. And and it was just it was awesome. There was not a single room that I played in over there that that didn't feel good. Do do the European audiences differ from those here in the States? I, I I think they probably do. I think you'd have to kind of be there to experience to to kind of understand it. Sure. Otherwise, I mean, they're I have incredible audiences in both the states and and in Europe. But um, the last time I was over there, um, everybody is is very just very attentive and and they're they're re- they actually have a, a really um, big craving for Americana music over there, mm. which is really I don't know. Sometimes that's a little funny to me, but yeah. but to me, they really love it. Um, Americana roots music. They they are here for it and. Um, yeah, they just, they listen really well and they, they support really loudly. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. That's interesting. How's the current tour of the States going? Pretty good. Yeah. So we're, I'm just kind of getting ramped up again. Um, so yeah, out in, um, Napa on August 1st is, is yeah. kind of the first thing I'm doing in a little while. So I'm, I'm really excited and I've got some other stuff coming, um, in August and then hopefully in October as well. Cool. Cool. Well, let's talk about that blue note show in Napa. What can your fans look forward to there? Well, hopefully they can just look forward to a, a nice evening of, um, you know, storytelling through through song. I, I do a lot of, of different kinds of shows. I do acoustic shows. I do kind of an in-between show. And I also do like full band shows. But I, mm. I love these acoustic shows because it just kind of feels like an intimate kind of living room type yeah. vibe. And I really feel like I can, you know, connect one-on-one with an audience member and I can I can share my stories and I can share, you know, the little moments that happen in a, in a set. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to, to play for them. I hope they enjoy it. Yeah. So it's it's an intimate show with just you on stage. Yes. Oh, great. How fun. Where's the best place I could send our listeners to learn more about your music and schedule? Uh, probably noahguthrie.com. Okay. That's easy. Noah Guthrie with special guest David Lunning will perform at the Blue Note Napa on Thursday, August 1st at 8 p.m., Doors open at 6.30 p.m. For tickets and more info, please visit bluenotejazz.com slash Napa. Noah, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. It's been a thrill talking to you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Keep it right here. The Backstage Sonoma Show will be right back. Would you like to be a guest on Backstage Sonoma? It's easy. Drop the host an email at backstagesonoma at gmail.com. Now, let's get back to the show.